Good afternoon, this is Superintendent Glover with the Hillside Public Schools. Sending an outreach to the members of my community here in Hillside. The Hillside Public School District is committed to creating an educational environment that supports the academic and social well-being of our students. Recent events within our school district, specifically at our high school, are unfortunate incidents that by no means reflects the mission, vision, and priority goals that we have set forth in our district. Unfortunately, for the last couple of days, a handful of students, and in some cases adults, have decided to display their negative behaviors that have resulted in portraying our district in a very unruly and operating in a lack of institutional standards. While the incidents are negative and not acceptable, and I do not tolerate them in our district, the false narrative about our district and the way people are portraying our community are completely unequivocally incorrect. We are a district that is here to make sure that our students are receiving a world-class excellent education, and we have those students in our district. We have students who are committed to coming to school every day to be the best they can. We have staff who are committed to making sure that our students are in a safe, well-balanced environment for them, both mentally, socially, and spiritually. Folks, I by no means sit before you today and say that we don't have issues within our district, but those issues are much, much, much fewer than what some believe are the right answers to portray about us. Parents in the community do have a right to know what is happening in a timely manner in my organization and my, my executive team, we have to take account for that. But the accurate information that gets portrayed about our district is what I am here to make sure happens. And the best information is the information that comes to you correctly, not the one that is half truths, half lies. It's the information that is definitely supposed to be given to you. When people choose to use our school environments as arenas to act out their physical violence against others, I do not allow and tolerate it. That's not what we're built on, nor will I allow it to happen. And those actors who come in here and believe that's what our district is about, well, we will help, help them reassess where they really belong. By no means am I not trying to say we're not here to educate all students, and sometimes students make mistakes, but our job is to make sure that our students are coming to an environment where people understand the district and community norms of education. I'm committed to making sure our students are in a positive learning environment and that the representation of the students in our school is also the representation of the students in our district. As a district, we will reassess and reevaluate all of the students in our district to make sure the right students are in our classrooms. But I'm also calling upon our parents to have conversations with your children around what is the appropriate standards of behaving and conducting yourselves as a student in our district. Yes, students make mistakes, but we are responsible as adults, whether we are parents or we are educators to make sure that our students understand that this is how you conduct business as you move through the secondary space of learning. I ask that we continue to look to doing business in a way that allows our students to see us as positive role models and not folks who are only concerned about collecting a check and moving out. That is not the nature of our organization. Again, I'm committed to finding out all those folks who do not belong in our district and are creating havoc, but I'm also committed to making sure where we have teachable moments, we teach our students. Adults cannot come to our spaces and use our spaces as the, the space of war, but it has to be a space of peace. The Board of Education and I will continue to assess the events that have happened over the last few days, and we are committed and steadfast in our commitment to creating a healthy and safe environment, and one that makes sure teaching and learning is an option for all students, and that all students walk out of Hillside High School ready for post-secondary work. I am committed to creating a culture of learning that is excellent. I'm committed to creating a culture of learning that allows our students to see the multiple and endless possibilities. We have created so many good opportunities for our students. And I do not want that to go undone be by the handful of some. Again, we acknowledge and we accept that there are some missteps that happened along the way in the last few days, but we will correct that. But ultimately, it takes all of us both internal within our organization here at Hillside Public Schools and external within the community to make sure our Hillside High School and all of our schools are the spaces that our students can be successful learners. I'm committed to that. I ask you to join me in that commitment, but I also help you understand that there is nothing that I will not do to find out the truth about what's making our spaces unhealthy for our students. And when I find out those spaces, there will be actions taken. 
Let's continue to focus on the positive things. Continue to share with us how we can grow. And let's have productive conversations and not destructive conversations that point position students against staff, staff against community, and divide us. If nothing else, if you haven't learned in my time of being here, I'm about uniting us as a district. We are Hillside Public Schools. We are a great school district, and we're on the rise of even growing more than where we were at in the last few years. Let's do it together. Have a great day.